This is a Kahan TV sports break. There were no surprises in the first couple of second round games, although the Wizards gave the Celtics a bit of a scare early. Cleveland's long layoff did nothing to derail them in game one against the Raptors. But the San Antonio Spurs were absolutely destroyed by the Houston Rockets. I showed up at the bar in the second quarter and the game was already over. And it was a shock to many NBA fans. I was a bit surprised that it was such a massacre, but I thought it was very possible for Houston to win. There's just a couple of big problems for the Spurs. First of all, the spacing for the Rockets is immaculate. It was thought that as long as San Antonio turned this into a half court game, they would control the series. But even in the half court, the Rockets have no weak spots. And as long as they run plays, they're able to get a pretty clean look at a jumper every single time. The Spurs have to rotate more crisply, and when they do have to double team or close down a driving lane, they have to rotate desperately to contest the shot. And that's not easy. The second problem though, and maybe an even bigger one, is that the Spurs are getting absolutely nothing out of LaMarcus Aldridge, a player who was kind of supposed to be Tim Duncan's heir apparent. Not exactly his heir apparent, obviously. It's impossible to live up to Tim Duncan, but he is unrivaled in his size, and he should be bullying the paint. He's played Houston before with Portland, and he has played much better than what he showed last night. He's just not exerting himself at all. It can't all be Kawhi Leonard for the Spurs on offense. This is what happened last year when the Spurs lost to the Thunder. They weren't as much of a disaster on defense, but they were a shambles offensively. Kawhi felt he had to carry the team, and he couldn't. He's not that type of offensive player. If LaMarcus can't compliment Kawhi, there really isn't that much else that's going to scare the Rockets, and they cannot win. The Spurs, that is. That's the bottom line. If the Spurs are going to get back in this, they're going to have to defend much better in the half court, which is not easy in this situation, but they're going to have to get desperate and get a hand in the Rockets players' faces. And LaMarcus Aldridge has to dominate the Rockets' interior defense. After the game was already out of hand, the Spurs really started to fall into the Rockets game and run up and down the court with them. They don't want to be doing that. So are the Spurs in trouble? Yes. The Spurs are in serious danger. I personally think the Rockets are going to win the series after seeing this game won. And I think the Spurs are starting to feel that way too, as was evident when their frustrations boiled over and there was that little scuffle at the end of the third quarter. Couple of players got thrown out on each side, but the Spurs have a chance to prove me wrong and get back into this series in game two. That is all for this edition of Sports Break. The Wizards will give it another shot in Boston tonight, and the Jazz will see what they can do to slow down the Warriors and their collection of superstars. Another night of playoff basketball comes our way. Let's see what the basketball gods have in store for us. Till the next time.